Today we're talking about how to stream live using OBS. Let's jump in. We're going to start at the very beginning and show you every step of the way. So we're going to start out by going to obsproject.com to download OBS Studios. This is completely free to download. It's an open source program, meaning other people are working on that to constantly be updating it. But when you land on this page, and I'll even put a link in the description so you can go directly to there uh, and not have to worry about that. Uh, it's going to give you the options to download either Windows, Mac, Linux, whatever you have. So you download that, walk through the process to download it, and it'll get you started. So depending on which system you're on, just click on that version to, to start downloading it, walk through the installation process, and you'll be up and going. So I'm going to open up my OBS Studio here. And once it finishes installing, this is what your home page will look like, just like this. Now, before we start streaming, there's a couple of settings that we're going to adjust in here to be able to get the most out of it. First, we're going to go up here to Tools, and we're going to go to Auto Configuration Wizard, and then we're going to click Next, and we're just going to use our current 1920 by 1080, and then frames per second. We're going to go to 60 or 30, but prefer 60. That's the first option there. And then we're going to click Next. Next, you want to select which system that you're going to be broadcasting on. So they have a couple of the presets here. Now, in our case, we're going to be broadcasting on YouTube. So I'm going to select that. And you got two options. You can either connect your YouTube account or Twitch or Facebook or whatever you're doing, or you can enter a streaming key, which is that big, long number in letters that it gives you when you stream. Uh, the easiest way is to just connect the count. So you click on that. It'll open up your sign in into YouTube. So you just click on the account that you want to link, choose the channel, uh, click continue. And then once it says you can close that page, you can go back and it'll have connected. So you can see here it's connected to the Andy Canote account. Then you'll click next. So now it's just performing a little test to be able to auto configure everything, making sure everything is dialed in the way that it needs to be. So this is a really nice tool to be able to just do a lot of the heavy lifting for you of getting everything optimized the way that you need it to be. So once it, once it finishes going through that process, it'll give you the results of that. All you have to do is click on Apply Settings. Now from here, you can start building out what the display and actual look of your live stream is going to be. Up here is the monitor window. This is exactly what it looks like that's coming out of here. Once we start streaming, we'll be able to see our chat and, and everything over here. And then down here are some of the controls that we're going to build out. So scenes are individual looks. So depending on what your live stream is going to be, you could have different scenes. Maybe you have an intro video that plays at the beginning. That would be one scene. Maybe you have your, your gameplay recording of you on the screen while you're playing a game. That would be a scene. Maybe you have a page that, that shows where people can, can donate to. That would be a separate scene. And then you can transition between those, okay? And then within that scene, are the sources, which are all the individual elements that go into that scene. So let's just start with a basic scene. And like I said, you can always add more as you need to. So we're going to be in this scene. If you want to add more, you just click on scene two and you can add them out that way. So let's say scene two uh, is brand new. So first we want to add our camera. So you go add source. And we want to scroll through here and we want to find our video capture device. So you can change the name of it or you can just leave it as is and we'll click OK. And then there you see right now it's selecting our webcam. We want to select the Logi Capture, which is right there, which is what my webcam is. You can make some adjustments here, whatever you need to. And then we're just going to click OK. So now you can see I have my image on the screen and now we can drag this around and resize it however we want to. So let's say I just want to put me down in this corner. If you hold your Alt key, it'll crop in the edges there. So let's say I just want it to look like that. Let me just get this adjusted however you want that. All right, so let's say I just want to be down in the corner here while we're talking about the game. Now you add another source, so click on that again. And we want to go to Display Capture. And let's say this is, you know, you can rename this and go game 
play. Now, the way I find that this works best is if you have two monitors, so you could have one monitor where you have your OBS system on, and then your other monitor where you're actually playing the game. Okay, so we're gonna go gameplay, we're gonna click OK, and then under display, you just wanna select your other monitor. Okay, so I'm gonna select that and go OK. I just have the Minecraft website, just for example's sake. But that would be your game or whatever you're you're sharing on your screen. This could also be, you know, if you wanted to do a video podcast, this could be your Zoom screen of, of whoever else is on the call with you, whatever you want. So now you can see this is now over top of me. So you just want to adjust these layers here and you bring that right over the on the top of that. And there you go. Now I'm on the screen and you can see what I'm doing on that second monitor. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a title. So this could be, we're going to go through here and go text. So in my case, let me just make this my name. So we'll do that. And you call this, have my name. You can go to select your font. Maybe you want to go to like classic arcade. Now you go, okay. You could change the colors select a color, maybe I want it to be black, click OK, and OK. And now we can take this and bring it, resize it a little bit, and have that be right over top of me there. And it gives you these little guidelines so you can see how you're, you're getting everything centered in there as you need to. So you can add as many layers. You could have like a picture, you could have a little graphic, you could have a little animation saying subscribe here, whatever you want, you can add that just as you need it to be. And then let's add another scene here. Click OK. And we're going to add a source. And we're going to go, let's say this is an image. Well, let's say we just want to add our logo in there. Click OK. Now, another option, too, you can see this is really big. So you can right click on that and just go down here to transform and fit to screen. Boom. So now we have my logo as on the page. So now just to keep these organized, we're going to go rename and we're going to call this main. We're going to call this logo. And what I always like to do is either having a, a default screen or just a blank screen. So we'll go blank screen. I think it's always important to have a blank screen so that you can always go to that if you need to. So let's say we start the stream, we want our logo up, and then when we're ready to go, all you have to do is click on that main screen and here we go. So, and you can create as many screens as you want and have different options. So then we have our main screen, we have our logo, we have our blank screen so that you can always kind of switch between these as you need to, all right? The other thing too is, you, let's say on your main page, once your name has been established on there, you could also just toggle that off and now that disappears, bring it back on. Or you could have text on the screen of subscribe now or email me here for questions, whatever you want that way. So now that you have all of your scenes and your sources all set up, ready to go, now let's talk a little bit about the audio. So this is your audio mixer over here. Right now I have a couple of sources already built into this. What we're going to do is we're going to go up to File, Settings. We're going to go to Audio. And here's where you select your sources. So right now I have the mic auxiliary output as my microphone. And then I have my desktop audio as the default, which is anything that would be coming through my speakers is the desktop audio. But you can add multiple sources. You get other ones that you need to put in there as you need to. And if you have a video with its own audio, it could play that as well. So then you click on OK. And then you can adjust the volume here. You can bring that down. You can bring this down. And you'll see when I play this video up here, the desktop audio will play down here. So you can go play. So we can bring that audio down just like that. Okay, so you have all your, your controls right there and you can adjust those on the fly as you're live streaming. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this chat window and let's say we're just gonna pull this over onto the side so that we can see our chats. And these are all, these windows, as you can see, are totally adjustable. So everybody has their own preference of how they like to have their streaming sort of set up in there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sign into our YouTube account again here. All right, so now once you're signed in there, now we just need to go back to our YouTube channel and we're just going to create a live stream here. And you could create this or schedule it for a later date or anything like that. But we're just going to go to go live 
edit this. We're just going to call it. Save that. You can add in all your options that you want to put in there. Now we go back to OBS. Next, you're going to go down here to manage broadcasts. Click on that. Select existing broadcast. You can say this is, this is the one we just made, OBS test. Select that broadcast. And now you see it opens it up here and it gives you all the data as it's going. And then once you're ready to go live, all you need to do is click on start streaming and everything that's on this display will be going live through your YouTube app or your Twitch or Facebook, whatever you have that connected to. And as you switch through these things, everything will be as it is. And of course, you'll have your chat window that'll pop up there. Now, just keep in mind, you can only broadcast to one service at a time, whether that be YouTube or Twitch. You can't stream simultaneously to those through OBS. And the other thing to remember is that there is a delay from the time of what you're seeing on your OBS till it goes through OBS, through the streaming key into your platform that you're broadcasting on, there'll be few second delay. So sometimes you'll ask a question and, you know, it'll take a while for people to respond to that in the chat just because there's a delay. Sometimes it could be 30 seconds, sometimes it could be a minute, depending on what your internet speed and all of those kind of criteria are. So I hope you found this very helpful to get started streaming through OBS and I'll see you in the next video.